Hello everyone. In this video, let's see the next concept of microcontroller that is PSW register. It is a very important register where we are going to get the flag information or the status of the AT51 microcontroller output. So in the previous video, we have seen architecture of AT51 already. In the architecture diagram, you can see PSW register here. This is 8-bit register. It has 0 to 8 bits. 0th bit will be representing P, that is parity. First pin will be not representing any flag. Second bit will be representing overflow. Third bit and the fourth bit will be representing the bank select. And fifth bit will be F0. This is for general purpose. Sixth bit will be auxiliary carry. Seventh bit will be carry flag. So total 8 bits representing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 information. So let us get into each and every bits and see what is the functionality or the indication of that pin. The first one we are taking is RS1 and RS0 of third and the fourth bit of PSW register. The register bank select is indicated by these two. Means if RS1 and RS0 is set as 00, we are selecting the bank 0. Register bank 0 is selected and the address will be 00H to 07H. Similarly, if we set 01 as RS1 and RS0, register bank 1 is selected, it is having the address 08H to 0FH. Similarly, 10 will be for the second register bank, register bank 2 is selected 10H to 17H. Similarly, 11 indicating the last bank, that is the fourth bank, bank 3, the bank 3 is selected and 18H to 1FH is the address. So these two indicating which bank is selected. Depending on the value of the third and fourth bit in the PSW register, we are going to set the banks. And now if you look at the parity bit, the first and the foremost are the zeroth bit of the PSW indicating P, that is parity. If the output of the ALU means that is present in the accumulator means this parity flag is going to be show or it is going to set when the number of ones is odd. You can see here in the second point, if the accumulator register contains the odd number of ones, means out of eight bits in the accumulator, if it contains only one number of ones or three number of ones or five ones are there or seven ones are there, then this flag will be set to one. We come to know that the output of the ALU that is in the accumulator is consisting of odd number of ones and if there is an even number of ones flag will be set to zero it is reset we say then what is overflow flag OV this flag is set during ALU operations to indicate overflow of the result since the output of the ALU is 8 bit means the accumulator will hold that value if there is any chance of overflow then this overflow flag is going to be set. There is the extra bit we need to take out of the ALU. So this is set to 1 if there is a carry out of either D7 bit or D6 bit of the accumulator. This is the indication there is an extra bit output is there. That is the overflow of accumulator we say. So overflow result will be uh, indicated by the OV flag. That is, so this bit indicating the overflow. And then auxiliary carry. Auxiliary carry means Anyhow, ALU is doing the 8-bit operation. This is an 8-bit hexadecimal number. This is also an 8-bit hexadecimal number. 2 will be represented as 0, 0, 1, 0. 9 will be represented as 1, 0, 0, 1. Similarly, 4 and C. 4 will be represented like this. C is C in the sense A is 10, B is 11, C is 12. So 12 will be represented as 1, 1, 0, 0. So when we are going to add these, when we are going to add these, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, and I am getting carry. So I am getting the carry from this nibble to this nibble. If this carry is generated, then auxiliary carry bit will be set in the PSW. You can see here, this is the auxiliary carry indication. This becomes 1, there is a carry from nibble to nibble. We say whenever we are doing the BCD arithmetic, we are going to get this information. Or the flag is set when there is a carry out of the D3 bit. 
d0 d1 d2 d3 from d3 to d4 there is a carry then we say there is a auxiliary carry this will be set to 1 then what is carry flag this flag is going to indicate the carry generated by the arithmetic operations so this can also be used as an accumulator to store one bit of data in the boolean instructions this is about the flag register how it is going to give the information to the reader or by looking at that the other decisions can be taken in the microcontroller also so these are the seven useful bits of microcontroller we can say this can also be used as a general purpose one if you want to indicate any other flag or if you want to indicate any other status of the microcontroller you can use this uh, fifth position or the sixth bit of this PSW register. This PSW register is of 8 bit out of that 1, 2, 3, 4 indicating the status of the accumulator itself. And this RS1 and RS0 corresponds to the register banks. Register banks are at 0, 1, 2, 3. And you can use this as a general purpose one if you want to set and indicate any purposefully in your program. So this is the PSW register of 8051. It is very useful in many cases we are going to use in programming if this bit is set suppose if you want to check uh, there will be an instruction uh, it is looking at the carry so if carry is set if carry is not set then you need to take the decision in such cases we are going to use the carry flag or auxiliary carry flag and if it is there any overflow in the output we can check with the overflow flag and number of ones in the accumulator Suppose out of 8 bits 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. If this is the output present in the accumulator register A, this register A contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. 5 in the sense it is a odd number. So then parity becomes 1. This P indicating there are 5 ones in the accumulator. If the data is something like this, all zeros and only 1, 1, then it is also a parity is equal to 1. If it is also 0, all zeros, then we say parity will be equal to 0. Or uh, something like 4 ones are there, then also parity becomes 0. This is the indication of number of ones present in the uh, accumulator register. This will be helpful in identifying the errors. If we are expecting parity is equal to 1 and we are getting 0 means some bit is going to be flipped from 1 to 0, we can identify. So this is how we can make use of this PSW register in our programming. Thank you.